okie dokie. Um, I'm outside. You should get outside too. It is awesome out. Uh, enjoy this while it lasts, guys, because it's only going to get hotter from here. And, uh, you know, July, August, it's going to be brutal. So enjoy it while it's 60, 70 out. Um, let's, let's jump into this here. We've got uh, three parts today. Think of A and B as a big warm-up. Right, we're gonna wake up the legs, we're gonna wake up the upper body, and then we got a finisher here today. So we're just trying to get a little extra work in for the whole body and just kind of get some blood flow um, to to our muscles. Um, the big thing to note with A and B is I've put that rest in there just like the last couple times we've done this day, and the idea is you get. Uh, your reps in 20 and 20 or 20 25 depending on what part you're on and then you <sighs> excuse me i feel a lot better now and then you take that rest uh, recover heart rate settles legs start or legs or upper body starts to burn a little less and then we boom go into that second third fourth set whatever that rest is there so that we can make each set beautiful and perfect and continuous as possible um Form should be the best ever on these, on A and B. Really, it should be the best ever uh, every time. But I really want you to emphasize it today, even if it means you're doing two push-ups at a time. Um, that it, it'll, It's going to pay off in the long run uh, to, to, to do it that way, even though it's going to suck today and it's going to take a lot longer. But, hey, you're outside and it's nice out, so hmm, who cares? Finishing up today, we've got... Uh, 24 rounds each round gets a little easier 20 15 10 5 and uh, very simple stuff on here bear crawls frog jumps v-ups let's just take a look at where i am right now in my backyard and we could really just set up a nice station right uh i don't know if you can see everything but over here i've got a fence and here i've got a grill so i can move my grill up to an appropriate distance from my fence right now i've got a bear crawl area. Now, oh, 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 I don't have a fence or a grill. Well, maybe uh, two rocks or a tree, or or you just put uh, put some sandals in your only one sandal here, one sandal there, right? You just put markers out. You got the yard, right? Uh, v up, you just doing the grass. And Brendan, what's a frog jump? Yeah, let's talk about frog jumps. Pretend you took a broad jump and a jump squat, and you just put them together. Maple's gonna demonstrate it for us. Okay, go ahead, Maple. She is unamused by my jokes. No, frog, frog jump. Hopefully you can see me. You squat down. You jump forward, you land in a squat. Who knows how many of those you actually saw. Hopefully you saw one or two and you get the idea, right? It's a broad jump, but we're squatting all the way down every time. So like the broad jump, we still want to aim for a uh, nice big jump every time, not these little hops. Um, because we're getting a nice squat in there, you should find it's a little easier to land on the joints, right? Because our muscles should be absorbing that force, right? Instead of just kind of, sometimes we do some of these, we like, Ah. Ah. Angry stomp. Right? Look, look how fucking lazy she is. I've been lifting weights back here, working hard, dying. She's just laying out in the sun. Can you believe that? Oh. Some coach she is, right? <laughs> anyway, that should be. Hopefully, you guys get the frog jump. Something a little different, a little fun uh, for you guys. Excuse to get outside and enjoy this wonderful weather. <laughs>